what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back here on to new video guys. I'm here my beautiful guest. Peace and makeup. My name is Divine and welcome to, to the Best Video. Today we're going to be reacting to Jordan Peterson leaves progressive students speechless. Hmm. On sex. On sex. This is going to be our first time checking this out. I wanted to try with you guys. You know how it is. So let's right 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 get into this video. So my question is as a redeemed progressive, uh, what is the key to empowering men in the Me Too age? while maintaining healthy boundaries and strong behavioral expectations. Um, we've had relatively reliable birth control since 1960. Wow. Okay, that's not very long. And we underestimate the unbelievable technological triumph of birth control. It's, it's the hydrogen bomb, it's the transistor, like it's a major league transformation in human interaction. Women are now free from involuntary rep reproduction. That's never been the case in the entire history of the planet, okay? We don't know exactly what to do about that. Okay, so the first idea in the 60s was, hell, <laughs> let's party. And you know, you could see why, it's like, what the rules for not engaging in um, promiscuous sexual intercourse seemed to have vanished. So we had a couple of decades of experimentation. It's like, well, how'd that go? Little hard on the family, I would say. That's not so good for kids. AIDS, that wasn't a plus could have killed us all. And it mutated, particularly to take advantage of promiscuous sex, because viruses are very tricky things. So it turns out that sex is a little bit more complicated exactly. than we thought. Well, it actually turns out that it's a lot more complicated than we think. Okay, and now it's four, 50, 60 years later, and we're trying to sort this out. It's like, well, when is it okay to have sex? Exactly. And when is it not okay to have sex? And what does it mean that it's okay? And what does consent mean? And the answer to that is, well, we never used to have to think these things through because the ru rule was don't have sex until you get married. That was the rule. Now that isn't yeah. the rule. Okay, so what's the rule? Well, we're not having a conversation about the rule. We're waiting till someone does something that seems like it might be untoward and then mobbing them and trying to extract the rule out that way. And it's not a very effective way of doing it. You know, you want to decrease campus rape? That's easy. Get rid of alcohol. True. No one has that conversation. It's like I did my PhD work on alcohol. 50% of the people who are murdered are drunk. And 50% of the people who kill them are drunk. And almost all the date rape situations are consequences of excess intoxication. But the, yet there's a party culture on campuses and anything goes. And you also have this strange thing, especially on the radical left, which is, which is unbelievably paradoxical, where absolutely every form of sexual expression imaginable is 100% permissible because sex is fine, but it's so dangerous that while you're dancing with someone at a Princeton mixer, you have to ask them two or three times if it's okay for you to continue. That's and and that's, that's actually the case, yeah, by the way. I'm not making true. that up. It's like, well, both of those things can't be true. Now, what's happening, I think, on the Me Too end of things and the affirmative consent end of things is the old sexual taboos are reasserting themselves. The idea that we can extract sex out from emotional intimacy and especially emotional intimacy, I would say, psychological intimacy, maybe even from long-term relationship, is I don't believe it's a tenable idea. 
I don't think we can do it. And a lot of what we're seeing is the backlash against that. It's like, well, I feel used. You know, because one of the things that's happening on the really radical end of the anti-sexual uh, abuse movement is the idea that, well, if you have intercourse with someone and then you regret it the next day, that's evidence that it wasn't consensual. But well, that's not true. It is, in a sense, evidence that it wasn't consensual because it's evidence that you didn't bloody well think it through, that right? It was good for last week, it's day. not good for yeah. today, it's not very wise. The question is, well, what constitutes consent? And we need to have a very serious conversation about that. Like, <clears throat> under what circumstances is it acceptable to give consent? But we're not mature enough to have that conversation. We want it both ways. We want to be able to do whatever we want, with, ever, with, what, with whoever we want, whenever we want, with no consequences, and we want there never to be any trouble about consent. It's like, well, no, that's not going to happen. I don't think that sex works very well outside of the exactly. relationships. I don't think there's any evidence that it does. There's a strong proclivity across cultures for, for the enforcement, social enforcement of long-term monogamy. And there's reasons for that. And I think you deviate from that at your peril. So now, if you, if you want to deviate from that, there's all sorts of reasons to do it. Um, and I can understand why people are interested in an adventure and all of that. But, you know, my sense also as a clinician is, you know, you only really get to try out about five people in your <coughs> life. You have to make a decision pretty damn quick. You know, like between 20 and 30, there's a lot of things to get straight. And long-term mate is usually one of them. And most of the time, People should be more careful with their sexual behavior when they're young, especially when they're drunk, than they are. And I think it, I just think it's so interesting that all of the taboo reconstruction is coming from the radical left. It's not what you'd expect at all. You'd think it'd be the damn right-wing Christians complaining about, you know, sexual immorality. It's like, no, it's the radical lefties, you know? You, you have to have signed consent before making any physical move. And then that's so what? Really? Who thought that up? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You know how awkward? <laughs> it's like you're going to... <laughs> you know, you're supposed to be able to do a little bit of nonverbal reading, right? I mean, that's part of romance. You don't see it. You ever see a movie where the two people who are dating exchange consent notes? <laughs> like, that doesn't happen. So it's an unrealistic solution. But, but I think the real solution is that despite the fact that we have reliable birth control, we're going to have to relearn what the acceptable rules of propriety are with regards to sexual relationships. One of the things I often tell my young clients is don't do anything physically with anyone that you wouldn't talk to them about. Because mm. if you're too damn embarrassed to then talk about it. it, well, maybe it's a little premature in the relationship to actually do it. And then there's harm in it, you know, there's emotional harm in it for on both parties. There's the cheapening of both parties. So, well, so it's going to take us a long time to sort this out, but hopefully we can do it in a serious manner and, and it won't be merely a matter of mobbing those who seem to have made an error. So. Wow. Peter Sin, I've done this. Again, Again. God bless this man. <laughs> For being in this world, for blessing, yeah. for coming about to speak his mind every time. Yeah. He he cleared out some parts every time. He speak about sex in a way I've never heard before, and he nailed the nail at the head every time. This is very amazing, and I feel like a lot of youths, a lot of teenagers, have to watch this video. Train. They have to watch. I don't know why this video have to train more than how it's training right now, because. This is a very meaningful topic that people are actually ignoring. A lot of people have gone to jail because of sexual assault, sexual abuse. They don't know the right time to touch their partner. When you see someone stretch, you have to ask three times before you touch the person. For real? Yeah. You have to be very mindful. Some people will be like, sexual harassment. But you let them. That is the thing. So a lot of people have gone to jail because of such things. And... 
there's a lot of things about sex that people are not actually talking about. You know, before we have the mentality of um, sex before marriage is not acceptable. Almost everywhere in the world is doing that. You you get? But if you are seeing how the world is evolving, sex before marriage is like a normal thing. Now, if someone give birth to you before marriage, it's called baby mama. Like and baby is being it as taken care of. As norm, norms, how life should be. You get. Yeah. But we are leaving some things aside. We are changing. We are all evolving. We know. We are knowing more about sex. We are knowing more about our personal self. Yeah. You understand? So it's, it's how life is. But there are some things that people have to know before accepting a partner. If you know you following this partner will last for a long time, or you know if you have sex with this person for tonight, you regret, you regret it, it the following day. Well, then why, why are you doing it? Because for that at that moment... You wanted to do it. You want to do it because that's why when he was talking about you signing that consent form, like yeah. you, there's some non-verbal communication you read. Like there's some things that you can just meet someone today and you just feel this special Feelings feeling at that moment. Maybe it's raining everywhere. Yeah. It's just so nice and perfect. Fantasy. You feel this way, <laughs> but maybe the next day you slept it off and like what made me do this? Wow. Then you won't call that that it wasn't concern. Because at that point, you wanted it. So why would you feel like it was not a concern? Because the next day you regretted your actions. Then why is the next person responsible for, for your, your actions? That is it. So a lot of people have gone to jail for this. Whenever it comes to sexual topics, people want to run away. People don't want to listen. People want to listen, but when it's getting to something that is really intense, that it's not they following want to their avoid own. it. Like, that is not how it is. You see, I love Peterson because Peterson always talk about meaningful things. Like, if you hear his statement right now, you got like, this man is really, really, really wise. Yeah. There's someone who have... People have talked about this to him and he have given them wise counsel mm. of how to go about it. It's not, it's not right. his first time talking about oh, the sex aspect. You see, he's someone who is wise learning and also experience yeah yeah so when he's talking about this i pay maximum m- maximum attention. attention to him because i want to learn more i said it before there are things i've I heard in this video that i've never heard before yeah like, i've never they've never talked about it to me before and it's really really beautiful for me hearing um this today this was really amazing uh i enjoyed watching this and i'm going to recommend this to a lot of people because a lot of youth have to watch this and learn more about sex itself and how you should not blame another person for your own actions and your own decisions you made so what do you think i feel um rules are made for a reason like let me just say when it was um you have sex when you get married it wasn't this complicated True. You won't see this. I didn't consent to it because yeah. it's no longer he raised me. It's like it wasn't consensual. I didn't consent to having sex with him, but you did it. So I'm not saying this because I'm a lady, and most times ladies do it. But I'm just saying it because it's it's a basic thing. A lot of people have gone to jail because of this situation, and sometimes some men did actually even have sex with them. Some people just lie about it. Yeah, and. Also, there's there's this new rule that I saw on TikTok in um, Indonesia. They said that um, no sex before marriage. Like the country itself gave that law, and um, if you're a single lady living with a single man, you can't do that. Like you can't do that. A single lady and single man can't live together. So there's no sex before marriage stuff like that. And I'm like, I get it. I get it. Like sometimes we need freedom of speech, but I feel like sometimes rules rules are really needed because there are a lot of things that will go wrong in this world if there's no rule or regulation guiding us let me just say there's no consequence for you killing someone and if i'm to piss you off today i'm definitely sure you're going to shoot me because no one is going to hold you responsible for it True. but if i that indonesia have made a rule that no sex before marriage you won't come up with this um what do you call this again this um i didn't give consent because you're not supposed to have sex before marriage and why were you giving like this is a different topic altogether and i think you're going to go um is a one year jail time if you if that 
report you in that kind of situation. You go yeah. to jail for a year. So I just feel we should tend to understand ourselves. Just like he says, I feel it's even better for you to be in a relationship despite you being married or anything. If you are single and you want to um, engage in any sexual intercourse, be in a relationship. Do it with someone you are dating. Then you just going out on the night and just sleeping around how would you be able to stay in a committed relationship if you let your guard down easily like that i feel we should all understand what we want first before going into anything and i feel when you're drinking I f- don't just let your guard down at any point be conscious of what you are doing when you feel tipsy take it just relax because you don't know what you would do when you get drunk. You don't know the decisions you will make. And if you have seen yourself drunk before, know what you're doing. If you are taking one or two glass and you're feeling, oh, this is strong, so let me chill. So that you won't wake up the next day, find yourself in a situation you never signed up for. Because I know that a lot of people that um, they have taken drinks, they are drunk. And honestly speaking, they didn't, even, they didn't know what happened throughout the night. Just wake up the next day on someone's bed and they're like, what have I done? They're like, I didn't even do this because I was drunk. I, I didn't sign up for this. You ripped me. Definitely, was you didn't scared. sign up for this, but you were drunk. Who got you drunk? It's a different when someone um put something in your drink. They drug you. That's a different thing. But you got yourself drunk and you don't remember what happened last night. So you don't even know what you did. If you're the one that even instigated it or not. So you're saying this other person raped you. What if? you instigated it okay even if they did and you continued it so you get consent you gave consent by allowing them or like i don't know how to put it giving a go her head yeah. by maybe kissing them back or stuff like that so i feel we should all be mindful by what we do and anything we put our hands into especially the drinking aspect yeah it's if very you, very important yeah if you get tipsy if you feel you can't control yourself just take a step back so guys comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video that has many as can subscribe to channel guys you know how it is we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe. i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her oh bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed i got scales all